Hi, my name is Frank. I live in uh, Falls Church, uh, Virginia. Uh, originally from uh, Georgia, and uh, I grew up in uh, a household uh, that was Republican, uh, Barry Goldwater. I handed out uh, Goldwater uh, bumper stickers and uh, and pins uh, in in Savannah. And I've been uh, a lifelong uh, Republican, uh, voting Republican in every presidential election, with the exception of uh, I did vote for Jimmy Carter. As I said, I'm from Georgia, and as a Georgian, I felt that uh, I needed to support Carter. And uh, besides that, um, he was a personal friend of uh, of my father. Uh, so I I really felt uh, compelled to support Carter. In 2016, I did uh, vote for Trump. I felt he was the lesser of of two evils. And I just couldn't believe that that the office of president wouldn't tone him down and that the House and the Senate would be able to provide uh, some moral leadership uh, that, uh, let, let's say, to, to, guide, to guide him and, and, uh, and to balance him. But in the time uh, since then, it is quite evident to me that Donald Trump is unfit for the job of president. Uh, he has divided this country. He uses divisiveness as, as a tool, uh, as a political tool. He has done nothing to bring uh, people together to bring this country together, to heal wounds. Uh, certainly his handling of, of the pandemic uh, to me is a travesty and shows absolutely a lack of leadership and insight as to what the situation was uh, and how, uh, how to handle it. Uh, 200,000 dead are not statistics, they're not numbers, they're people. And Donald Trump has, has looked at them as, as just, just numbers, uh, inconvenience in uh, his quest for uh, a second term. And so I am voting uh, for Joe Biden. Uh, there are a number of things in the Democratic platform that I don't necessarily agree with, but I believe that Joe Biden will work to bring the country together and will try to work with Republicans on meaningful legislation uh, that will, will have a great impact to, uh, to bring uh, economic stability after the coronavirus and, uh, and to reassure people that they're not forgotten, uh, that they're not just a number.